Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Copy Paper Scissors and I am going to be working on some pockets, some belly bands, that sort of thing. I am going to be using some pages that I tore out of this book. It's really heavy. Some pages that I tore out of this book. And at first, I took them out and I was going to put them in as actual pages in the journal. But when I started flipping through, I didn't like the feel of it. So I decided to change them and make something like pockets and stuff like that. So for instance, I had this actually in the journal as a page somewhere. I just didn't like the way it looked personally. So I decided to do something else. And I thought I would bring you along with me. So we're gonna cut this one in half. I have, there's a, the fold where I had it in the journal. Just kind of going to kind of go by that. And then I'll have another, you know, page to do something with. Get these things out of my way. I have a feeling that this is going to be a long video. Um, I'm going to try and hurry, but, you know, it doesn't always work. I'm going to get rid of some of the bulk. It's just not necessary. be a tuck. I don't know. Just put it back over here and figure that out at some point. You know, I didn't check to see if my glue was working. All right, that's good. I also didn't bring a paper towel with me, so who knows what sort of situations we might get into. Okay, and I also made myself a little place here that down here is out of camera and I'm going to do my best to be aware of that while I'm filming. I put some washi. Oh, you can see it too. Okay, so I'm going to leave the washi there, but this is Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, all right. So I thought I wanted to just kind of layer some stuff up on here. I want it just a little farther down in there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put... It's not the right way. I think that's the... So that's going to be in the way over here. Let's see. Hold on. I don't want to cut it. Maybe it'll be fine if it comes down here a little bit. I was thinking about having the trim hang off the pocket a little bit. I was going to layer up some stuff. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue just kind of right in here just to tack it down. And hopefully it dries quickly enough that it doesn't gum up my needle. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. So this would go right around here.
these really, these scissors do not cut well. And they're, they're newer scissors. Okay, get this out of the way. Oh, that's going to be wrong. I think it's upside down. Oh, well, it's going to be upside down. It's not that obvious. Okay, so I'm going to make it, um, I'm just going to kind of pull on it a little bit to make it a little tattered. Whatever sticks out that I don't like, I'll, I'll kind of cut off as we go. This, I think, let's see. I think I'm going to try and just sew it. And I'm going to do a straight stitch just to get this down. And I'm going to start here because I think, I think that'll be covered. I'm going to put this doily on it, I think. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. I just moved my, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I just moved my sewing machine over to my desk so I have to get everything situated. Okay, and then I'm going to switch it to zigzag. And it, it's brown, it's barely gonna show, I think but I think it'll show a little bit. Oh, it shows, it kind of shows. I hope you guys don't mind watching a little sewing. Of course, you can always watch this back in um, a faster motion or just kind of, you know, skip through the sewing part. sure that actually doesn't bunch up and actually yeah it's starting to bunch so something I do sometimes is I take a, a I keep a fingernail file in my my drawer of my little sewing table and I just take the edge and kind of keep it I just make sure I you know get it out of the way so that the needle doesn't hit it don't want that And I can kind of see what I'm doing. I know that it's not the best angle for you guys to be able to see, but hopefully, let's see. That'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, now I'm gonna switch it back to the straight stitch. And I think we'll just get it lined back up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And so then this part that's kind of going off to the side, we'll see. It might look fine in the in the journal, um, just the way it is. And I might not mind it kind of going off to the side like that. But we'll just see. I have, you know, I'm not prepared. I, um, I meant to ink. And I don't even have my daubers out or anything. Finally, I finally bought some new foams. And then I need to figure out what color I want to do my distressing. I'll get it, you guys. I'll get it. Don't worry. It's not going to be a total disaster. We're going to ignore this part. I 
keep on finding vintage photo. The very last one I, I was looking for my dark. This one's ground espresso. Ground espresso. Um, is of course the bottom of the pile. And then I think I'm gonna just kind of dingy it just a tiny bit. I, I want it to be different, you know, than this. I want it to be white, but maybe just a little dingy. Let's see what it looks like on the page. So this is just um, some coffee dyed paper that I I added. I coffee dyed it and then I took the coffee and I put some mood coloring in it. Okay, so I'm thinking like that. Yeah, and, and this coming out of the top I think is fine. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put this down with some hot glue. And then um, this is a trick that one of my subbies uh, suggested that I try. If you ever sew in your journals and you have a hard time gluing things down where it's sewn, she said to take your, your bone folder and just kind of mush down the threads and that it it sticks more quickly and she was totally right. And I cannot remember who gave me that tip, but thank you so much because it totally makes a difference. So give it a try if you haven't. I know I'm slightly out of camera here. Let me get back up in there. And I'm, believe it or not, I'm hoping to get five different things done here today. What do you think? Possible? I don't know. We'll just come over a little bit from the center of the signature so that this part doesn't have to be cut off. Okay, and then this down about there or you know because I just feel like it doesn't look right it needs to be oh I don't know maybe that I don't want center I don't want right on the edge I just I don't know I felt like that was good let me stand up and look I'm just going to do that. Let me get after see I'm, I'm going to grab a few things and then I will be settled. It's just not knowing what you're going to need at first. I should have had some wax paper here with me. So, you know, I sometimes I keep packaging and it works good for um when you need to glue something down. Of course, use whatever glue you're used to. Whatever you want to use. And I am going to just add a little bit, just a little bit. And I know some people don't like hot glue, but it really does work. And, you know, some people's like, well, it adds too much bulk or whatever the case. If you don't like it, you know, that's fine, but it does work. And, um,. I find it actually very difficult to take things apart when I have to try and fix something. My glue's not dried yet. So if you're concerned about it not holding, it holds. You're, if you're putting hot glue on fabric, it's definitely gonna hold. 
sometimes I have to melt things back off again. Okay. I might go back and add a little bit around the edge of that circle, but you guys get the idea. So there's one thing, and I, of course, I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet, but there's one thing. It's not going to be this, but so there would be, I probably will have something that's tall coming out of the top like that. So I think it'll be cute. There's a summer on the prairie happening. I may or may not go. I don't know. I'm keeping it there so I don't forget. So then that is in the center of this signature. So these are just some of the, the way I put some of the pages together. And I don't know if it's going to stay this way yet, but look, one thing. <laughs> it's a start. Okay, let's go for the next thing. Okay, so for this one, I have, so it's this little, it's just a little piece, and I like that it has the, well, obviously the purple, and then it has the little furniture there on the porch, and I was thinking to make a belly band. So what I will be doing for this one is gluing some lace, purple lace, if I can get a straight edge on it-ish. Actually, if I do that, that should do it, right? It'll give me the length that I need and everything. And then I'm going to attach that on both sides. So I need another one. Probably should have made it just a little longer than necessary so that I could trim it, but I'll do that on this one. Out of the way. So this is up. I hope this works. If not, I'm going to have to see how it's like. Mm, I think it'll be okay. And then I'll trim it. I need to put something else down to glue this onto because I might have to let it sit and then we'll come back and glue. I mean, so I don't know because yeah, I don't want to do hot glue. I don't know what to do for sure. We're going to try this. So I'm going to just put some glue down. I might have to put something kind of heavy over the top of it. And maybe we'll move on and work on the other one and I don't know, see how it goes. This one really might cause me some trouble. I'm thinking about when I go to stitch it down, how it might get stuck in the the feeder thingy of the sewing machine. I don't know. We'll
we'll see. Are they kind of in a similar spot? I think. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And we're going to go to the next one while that sits and dries a little. And this one is going to require some drying as well. Okay, so I took and just tore a little bit on a little, I don't know, kind of a tuck spot. And then I want to put it on some paper bag. I think my ink is getting a little bit dried up. I'm thinking I might go and see if I find something that's like a dark green. Um, I don't have any right now. I think I have some green that's um, just too brightly colored. Okay, so this so I need to glue it down and then tear around it and I'm thinking I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac because it will not warp it so we'll do that So I don't know, I need to start writing down things that have been going on so I can tell you stories. I just, I forget everything. I don't know. Things have been happening. Life has been lived. <laughs> I don't know what's been going on. Um, so my daughter graduated from high school. She is thrilled to be done. She will be leaving in the fall to go to school in Bellingham. Washington, which is farther away than I would like for her to be, but they don't really, you know, take that into consideration, those kids. Okay, I'm going to do a quick tear just so that, you know, sometimes it's really hard to get your fingers in there, so if I can just kind of get it started, it might be easier. Probably noisy. Sorry about that. That was too close, and so I'm really irritated with myself right now. Okay. Get that out of the way. And now I will go just a little closer to it. Yes, we are going to be taking her to school in September. I'm sure she's really excited. She's started buying a few things for the dorm, but she doesn't know exactly which room she's going to get yet, which dorm room she's going to be in. She put in for one, but I guess they don't find out until next month. So we really don't know exactly everything that she's going to need other than bedding and some towels and, you know, that sort of thing. But we don't know what, what kind of space she will have. So, all right, Stephanie, messing it up here. This paper bag is really a sturdy, reinforced type of a paper bag. It's actually kind of hard to deal with sometimes. Okay, let's tear across the bottom. This is probably going to come off. I don't know. She has been trying to find a job. 
to work until she goes and man, she's having the hardest time. Um, just, I don't know. She, she keeps on doing uh, applications online and not hearing anything. She has just no response. And, you know, if somebody doesn't hire her soon, they're not going to because she'll be leaving, you know? And so what's the point of training someone if, if they're leaving? So, you know, she's hoping to get something that will be, um, you know, something that's busier during the summertime where they need summertime help, where they may not need wintertime help. And they're probably more likely to hire somebody like her at that point. Maybe, we're hoping. Okay, so I think it'll look cute. I am going to add just a little bit of glue right on the edge of where I kind of tore more than I would have liked. And we'll ink around the paper bag. But yeah, today she has an interview at two. I'm hoping she gets this one. Um, I think it would be kind of a fun, easy, busy, I think probably sometimes, but I don't, I, I don't want to say where, cause I don't know if that's, <laughs> you know, right to do, but it's a fast, I would say fast food. It's not, it's a fast snack sort of a place. And so that'd be easy for her. You know, she would learn it quickly and it wouldn't be too big of a deal for her to be gone. And if they have one over where she, you know, over in Bellingham, then she could just kind of move over and continue working for them, perhaps. I don't know. I hope I'm not mumbling. Okay. Then I have some... I have some stuff here that I thought would be fun to kind of just crinkle up together and add to it. Cheesecloth stuff. This green one is a pack of... I don't know if it's cheesecloth or not, but it's like wannabe cheesecloth. I found it at Hobby Lobby in the spring, so I don't know if it's something that they still have. And I thought to just really scrunch it up good and then add some of this stuff here to it, just for kind of the flow. Um, not flow. I don't know. It just kind of looks... Does it look romantic? I don't know. Does it look overgrown cottagey? I don't know. Is it too much? Would it be better just to have a little bit up in one section might be. Oh, let's get this out of the way. I'm thinking that I don't like how wide this is, but if I just kind of twist it once and then it kind of makes it a little different. I think that's maybe good. Okay. Let's see what happens if we go to sew it. What do you think? I think I might start with this end. And I'm not going to glue it down. There's just nowhere to put any glue. It's too 
fluffy. I just hope I'm on the paper. <laughs> Um, I want zigzag. I'll just get it started. Cross our fingers. Where did I put my, there it is. Sorry if my hair keeps going in, especially since I haven't done anything with it yet this morning. I went for a walk and came in here. I know I need to get this video done and I need to do some cleaning and so I'm just kind of gross right now. Just kind of poke it, hopefully it stays. it around once in a circle and see how that works. Ah, okay. I didn't get it under there in time. When you work with this stuff, you really have to fuss with it sometimes. I know I do anyway. I might end up cutting this stuff off the top. And I don't think I'm hitting the pocket. Okay, back. All right, let's see how that turned out. It's something. So to cut this, I just do, because I tried tearing it and it doesn't, so I just kind of do that and just kind of scrape it. I don't know if that's what you call it. And I think I'll take those and kind of just messy, messy, messy. Where's my page? No idea. There it is. Where did I have this? Oh no. I actually, believe it or not, I had like an actual thought about where it should go. Was it here? I think it was. So that would go there. I'm just going to mush this down. Cut these off. I wonder if I started my camera. And I might come in and add a flower or something to it, 
but I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see. I might find something else I want to add to it. So I think that's cute. Okay, so we'll put that one over out of the way. And let's sew this. Okay, I hope it works out. Um, I'm going to start here. And I apologize if you guys cannot see what I'm doing very well. I always have the hardest time getting the sewing machine in a good spot for filming. It seems to be feeding okay. I wasn't sure if it would, but I think it's fine. to be adding just a little bit of a trim to kind of pop a little some white we're gonna add some white trim to it scissors really are not good. These scissors are my favorite. They are American Crafts. The only thing I don't like about them is the tip from about here to here doesn't cut. Otherwise, I love these things. They always cut for me. I mean, maybe not so great here on this kind of stuff, but those other scissors, no, don't like them. Okay, so then I was going to add this teeny tiny little trim. And I think it's cute. And then it, it kind of brings out the swirl of white in the paper and then page that's gonna be next to it. I am going to use Fabri-Tac. It's going to take a while to dry. Come on. Ugh. The waiting sometimes, you know? We'll just lay it on its side. Blue strings. Okay, so that's going to be cute. Okay, let's get it on the other side.
Silence. Yeah, I need some good stories to tell you guys. I have things to tell you, but I don't know if I'm ready yet. <laughs> that sounds funny, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I, um... I've never, I don't share a lot of my kids' personal information. I don't post things about my kids. I don't know. I just feel like, I'm sure they do. You know, my daughter does for sure, but my son doesn't. I feel like it's their life and it's not my place to post about them. And I'm not like, I'm not talking like I'm posting right now, but talking about them, um, you know, when it's their life. I don't know. I just kind of feel weird about it. But, um... Yeah, some things coming up. So my son moved back home after had, he had been in an apartment for a while and um, working at a place that was, you know, I mean, could be a, a long-term job for some people, but it's not what he wanted to do. Didn't know what he wanted to do. Isn't that pretty? So um, he moved back home. And have been trying to figure out what, what to do next. I'm going to use hot glue. And so he has finally decided. And he's been working on joining the Air Force. And so it's official. He's signed. And he is going to be leaving next month. Or basic. He's um, gonna have to be able to run. <laughs> My son's not a runner. He's a, a weightlifter. And so this is like, this is our concern, you know, with basic is if he's gonna be able to run. <laughs> Isn't that so pretty? I like that. So let's see. Let me just, so I'll put something. And now I'll have to be careful about it getting caught on the the trim behind. But, you know, with a little effort, it's fine. But that, I think, is a really pretty belly band. I'm going to leave that open so that the Fabri-Tac doesn't glue the page shut. I have one more. Oh, gosh. I have two more. What time is it? 43. This one is going to be a little bit more involved. Okay, so I want it on this side. I'm going to get this out of the way. And what I want to do, well, Okay, let me kind of get a measurement first. I want to make it a flip down, but the flip down will, like it'll hold stuff in, I would think. So it would be like this. Okay, so it's like a giant flip down. I'll probably make this into a pocket. But I'm not, I know I will make that into a pocket. I just don't know for sure how at this point. So then what I want to do is I wanted to decorate it with this. I think it would be really cute. So what I need to do, get it where I want it. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm trying to get it really centered, but you know, I'm not gonna be able to manage that. I'm gonna flip it over and maybe just draw a line and cut it. I, 
it. You guys, I'm so sorry. You're out of camera right now. So yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have kids in the military, but that's going to happen here pretty soon. And I am nervous about it. I know he's really nervous. And people keep asking him stuff and you know, he doesn't know. He's he's only just learning and so people are constantly asking him questions about what's happening and all this. He's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's supposed to happen next. <laughs> that sort of thing. Stresses him out. I'm gonna use this other glue because it takes a little longer for it to dry. And I haven't used it in a long time, so of course it's not going to work for me. This one's the uh, Aileen's, Aileen's, however you say it, quick dry tacky blue. So it dries. It dries pretty quickly, but it, you know, I'll be able to get this stuff down. It shouldn't be a problem. Whereas if I was using the art glitter glue, I don't know that I would be able to glue everything down and have it still be wet. And I'm hoping that I'm getting glue in enough places that it'll actually stay. We'll see. I'm probably going to be getting glue in a few places that I don't want to be getting it. But it's going to be covered significantly, so I think it'll be fine. So then uh, my son's going to be going to Texas for training. And then he's supposed to be going to schooling in California. So that's going to be his next little bit of time. And he has, you know, meetings every now and then with his um, recruiter. And we get... We get, I don't know, hints of information because he's not real good at, at hearing and knowing what to, um, like, listen to and hold on to. <laughs> People keep on telling me, oh, that's going to change. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, we'll see if that's enough to get it to stick. My husband is very proud of him for making the decision. My husband wasn't in the military. He, he kind of wishes he had, but his brother talked him out of it. And his brother had been in the military, so he was like, well, I guess if my brother's trying to talk me out of it, maybe there's a reason for that. But he still wishes he had done it. I have a friend who is retired army and um, I know she loved it. She just thought it was the best thing. Come on, Stephanie. I should be saying, come on glue. It already dried up on me. I will be stitching around it. So the stuff on the side should be fine.
one of the things that I'm a little bit worried about is, well, never mind. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> not going to say it. It's not what you're thinking. <laughs> if you're thinking what, what I'm worried about, it's not what you're thinking. <laughs> it's just my own personal little worry. But I hope he loves it, you know. I hope he finds the positive in it. And with any job, there's, you know, one way or the other to look at it, I suppose. Now I'm thinking that it would be good to, I want to sew around this and sew around this. I think that this might want, this might have to be the last one because we're going to have an hour long video here and... And then, then I can just show you the last one that I did on another day, maybe during the flip through or something. Isn't this a fun doily? It's, you know, I found it at a yard sale. It's, very intricate um, and it didn't have like I found it in a baggie of all different doilies so I didn't have any sort of brand or even know if they still make it I just don't know I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside yeah I need I need a new thing of this ink for sure The inking is giving the glue a minute to dry. Be covered. And then this, the pocket will be like this. I'm probably gonna put one of those little, I'm not sure. I've got a smaller one. I think I'll use a smaller one. 53 minutes. I don't know what it says for you guys, but for me it says 53 minutes. Okay. It's a little off-centered, but it'll work. And then I'll, I'll decorate that on my own somehow. I'm not quite sure what I'll decorate the pocket with. I don't have anything ready. So, if I... That. I think that's what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to put, let's see if I can get glue on it. I need to use this glue, so. I'm not concerned about, well, I'll go ahead. I'm trying to get glue off my fingers. Just kind of guess where we want it. And I didn't go all the way to the edge because I'm going to sew around it. And so when you flip it down, you'll see the sewing, but I personally don't mind that. I think it's kind of fun. It adds a little character. So let's do that. Let's sew. Actually, I'm going to do the zigzag first. No, I don't want to zigzag because of the doily. So I'm going to straight stitch this. It'll be faster too. It's not going to show up very much. It's pretty much the same color as the bag, but I've 
got, I just moved the heck out of my camera. Sorry about that. I've got this thing back there that it's hitting. of it if I can. I hope it didn't move. That would not be good. Yeah, that thing back there is making me angry. But I can't really do much about it. Everything is in its way. it's really cute. I'm not done. I have a little something else to put on it. But I want to kind of it's really pretty. So I have these little things I think around this. This is from the the kit itself is just a little, a little fussy cut from the kit. I don't even really know what this is, if it's supposed to be a water jug or, or what, but it's cute. It works. I am going to just throw some stitching on this real quick. Hopefully it does okay. Sometimes a, just a little strip of fabric gets bunched up, so I hope I don't destroy it. Yeah, it's fine. It's got a little bunch to it, but it's fine. Um, I'm just going to do that. Care if it comes unraveled a little bit. So I was thinking that it would just kind of it can come off a little bit. That's cute. Okay, let's put that down. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do hot glue. hot glue on this because I can <laughs> and I might have liked it better the other way but this is fine too and then I'm gonna use regular glue on this so I cut the handle in order to cut this little bit out oh I'm dripping glue and you just have to make sure you get it that's a lot of glue. It is a lot of glue. So cute. We're definitely stopping at this one. 
when I get off with you guys, I will decorate the pocket, but let's see here. So I will glue it down just this. So this is a flap, but it will also hold something. So you'll have the pocket there, but if you place something in here that's like big and sticks out all around, it's going to hold it in place. Kind of like a tuck spot, but a big flappy tuck spot. So let's go ahead and glue it down. And like I said, I'll, I'll decorate it somehow. I'm not quite sure how at this point. And it, it could be over on the side too, like over here. But I think I want it in the center. It needs to come down a little bit. Okay, so I think that's really pretty too. I hope that you guys think that it's cottagey. I do, I think it's cottagey, I think it's pretty. I think this is a really long video and I mumbled my way through it, stumbled my way through it. Thanks for watching you guys, I'll see you soon, bye-bye.